what's up guys i'm doing a skin giveaway every video what you have to do to enter is like the video subscribe to my channel and as third send your id in the comments the winners will be announced in the outro as you can see here in the bottom left good luck to everyone what's up guys welcome to gato gacha guide this guide you will learn how to play and master gato gacha he's a really strong tank and you can even build him as a mage. He is so strong with a strong engage. His second ability makes the enemy kill themselves in just a couple seconds. And uh, yeah, I will teach you how to have the best build. How to play some tips and tricks. The combos for the for the hero and more. I think Dogacha is one of the most fun tanks to play at the moment. Because you have a very nice engage. And you can just see how the enemy kills themselves with your second ability. Anyway guys, if you think this guide will be useful, be sure to drop a like, send down in the comments what you have to say about Katoga Cha. I'm, I'm uh, just curious about what your opinions are on this hero and uh, I hope you will enjoy the video. In this video we will be talking about the new hero Katoga Cha. First off we will start with the background, then the pros and cons, the general info, then we explain the abilities and what combos is best to use. And the build, we have the magic build, I have a tank build. And we have to talk about the, the matchups, which heroes are weak against uh, Gatogacha and which heroes are strong against Gatogacha. And we finish off with tips and tricks and some gameplay. So let's talk about the background of the new hero Gatogacha, the Iron Bone. Gatogacha was a son of Bilma and Arembi from the Arkpada universe. Since his childhood, he has been the champion of gods, fighting all other heroes and destroyed them. One time, he lost and he was almost dead. But then he came back and he was stronger than ever before. Now he can fly across the skies and crush his enemies. So for the pros and cons of Katogacha. The pros are that he has a very good crowd control. Crowd control means you have stuns, knock up, silence, whatever. So uh, this ultimate ability makes the enemy knock up and the second ability makes the enemy taunt. That means that they will attack you with basic attacks. This is a very good engage also as a pro and uh, you can just kill the entire enemy team. You do a lot of damage for a very tanky champion. So that's very useful because uh, when you read the passive that will be explained later on with the abilities. He's very very tanky and with the right items. He has a very good synergy with it and uh, they just kill themselves very fast. The cons about the new hero is that the casting time is pretty long. When you use the ultimate it charges in the air and the enemy has, has time to just dodge the, the just dodge the ultimate. Also the second ability taunt, he has to, uh, in the description it says he has to shout and it takes like, uh, it takes like a second to do and the enemies can just walk away when you want to taunt the enemy. Also, the low mobility of uh, the tank is pretty, pretty annoying. For a tank, mobility isn't really necessary, but it's, it's fun, fun to uh, run away or fun. I mean, it's useful to run away and it's useful to uh, chase the enemies. But uh, Katoga Cha can't re really chase enemies when the ultimate is on cooldown. Also, this new hero is really a rip-off of the new hero Galio, or the Rira Galio from League of Legends. I don't know if you saw the video already, but here you can see. That uh, the ultimate is pretty much the same, the taunt is pretty much the same, and he just took it from League of Legends. I don't think it's the smart idea when they have a lawsuit on their, on their necks, but uh, yeah, it's their own choice if they want to copy it. So let's talk about some basics about the hero Katoga Cha and what role he is. So the main role of Katoga Cha is a tank. So you actually want to build a full tank, but I will show in the build later on. I also made a mage build, but it's better to play tank. Mage is just to play for fun. So the role of Katoga Cha is to engage and go into the backline. With your ultimate it has a very long range so you can actually go into the backline pretty easy and use your second ability to, uh, to taunt the enemies. That is what the role you want to do with Katoga Cha. Since you are a tank, just soak up all the damage the enemy does to you so your team doesn't get hurt by the enemy. Also if you die it is not a big problem because you have tanked so much damage and the enemies don't have abilities to kill your team so your team can finish the enemy off. So let's take a look at the abilities. So the passive is called Steel Bones and it's really overpowered. It converts 4% of lost HP to physical defense up to 250 armor 
250 armor is like three or even more armor items and normally you don't even buy three armor items that makes you the most tankiest hero in the game and it's just just so strong also on top of that every six seconds dealing damage to the enemy with higher hp so if the enemy has higher hp than you you will heal them or heal uh, just heal some hp and it's uh, it's insane it also scales with uh, half times hp of the physical defense so the first ability is called blast iron fist it shatters the front ground dealing through 350 magical damage and slowing down the enemies. This skill is mostly used for clearing the minion wave, finishing off enemy heroes, or just use it whenever you can in team fights because it does a load of damage. So the second ability is called Unbreakable. This is the bread and butter of this hero. Katoka Cha shouts loudly, forcing nearby enemies to basic attack him for 1.5 seconds. The next 2.5 seconds, he counters the attacker when hit, dealing 200 magical damage to nearby enemies. This makes you very strong against marksmen because they will out attack you fast and they will receive a lot of damage. When you are charging the taunt, no one can use stunts on you or you will not get stunned. It doesn't say in the description. The ultimate ability is called Avatar of Guardian. It has a very big cooldown so you have to use it wisely. It shortly charges and jumps to the target area, knocking nearby enemies into the air for one second and dealing 500 de magical damage. The enemy near to the center is knocked up in the air for a longer time. It's not really necessary to aim it perfectly because you would just want to hit as many enemy members as you want and not just go for one in the center don't necessarily always have to engage with the ultimate. You can also use it when you're in clutch situations and you have just have to escape for a short moment and the team can just help you out and you can kill the enemy. It's also very good for ganking other lanes because you will just fly to a long distance and kill them. But uh, the main part is still to be the engaging on the enemy backline and destroying the enemy team. So for the build, I think this build is the best build for the hero, new hero Gatogacha because it synergizes really well with his abilities. So let's take a look at the first item. It's called Cursed Helmet and everyone around you will take damage just from standing near you. Second ability is nice because the stuns will be reduced by 25% and it gives some uh, magical resistance. The third item is really good because because of your stun, or for, I mean your taunt, the enemies will attack you and they take damage for attacking you with the ability and also with this item. The fourth ability gives you 900 HP, a lot of uh, magic resistance and uh, HP regeneration and it gives you a big shield. So if enemy hits you, you will have a nice shield to, uh, to defend yourself. The second last item is really strong also with, uh, with the passive because every time people attack you, their attack power gets reduced by 6%. And last, uh, it stacks up to three, three times, so you, the enemies have 18% uh, less AD when they attack you three times, and that's that's huge. And they still take a lot of damage from it. The last item is immortality, just a useful, a useful normal item you buy as last because uh, it will revive you. And when you get revived, you can use your second ability again to make enemies enemies attack you, and it's just a very strong item. So the second build is full AP. So the first item gives you a lot of magic power, HP and mana, so you are more survivable and don't die that fast. Second item is again to uh, reduce the, the stuns and etc. Because you have no ability, it's good to have. The third item also is really good with this hero, because when they attack you, you're under 30% HP. When they attack you, the enemy movement speed will reduce by 80% and you will deal 50% of your magic power as magical damage to them. It also gives armor to survive more. The fourth item is the magic power and it also gives a lot of magic penetration just to do more damage. Also for the second last item, the holy crystal, it uh, increases your magic power by 25% and uh, it's just very good for... Uh, it, it gives you a lot more damage. And the last item gives you 150 magic power and a lot of HP because it kills with the, of your magic power. So the new hero Gatogacha is very strong against these uh, marksmen. 
These marksmen have no mobility and they really can't escape you from engaging. Lila only can escape when she uses Flicker, but uh, there's a bigger cooldown than your ultimate, so she dies very fast. Mia can use her, can use her uh, ultimate ability, but your taunt will still get her and she will get destroyed by you. Also, Gary is the worst hero against this uh, new hero Gatogacha, because of her high attack speed she will receive even more damage than the other heroes. The, these heroes are not the only ones that are weak against Gatogacha. Also some mages can be, uh, can be uh, weak against him, because they have no escape and uh, also die very fast. Gatogacha is weak against these heroes, especially Kagura. Kagura has a high mobility and can dodge every ability from the hero Gatogacha. Also, she can slow him down and kill him very easily. Second hero, Aurora, is a very is a long range hero and also can uh, poke uh, Gatogacha from far away. And uh, it's, uh, only when you have the ultimate you can counter Aurora, but uh, she will just uh, just freeze you and you, she can run away. It's a, it's a strong counter. Also, Shu can be strong against Gatogacha because Gato will engage with the ultimate and Shu can just knock him back so uh, he will be useless in the team fight. Now we know the basics about Gatogacha, let's jump into a gameplay to learn even more details and how to master the new hero Gatogacha perfectly since he is a very strong tank. You really, really want to learn him perfectly. What's up guys, welcome to Gatogacha gameplay. I will play with the healing spell. Uh, you should actually use Flicker. Healing is also fine, but uh, on this account I don't have Flicker yet because I'm too low a level. It's on the advanced server, so I just don't have it yet. So enemy team has no tank, which is really nice for for me because I can just engage and they will die very fast. I will be playing full tank with this uh, with this uh, hero. It's not the it's not the build I used in this uh, in this video. I was just trying out the builds and. Uh, this one is also fine, you can just choose, but I think the one I showed in the video, or uh, yeah, in the guide, it's better. So, uh, I'm just checking where my team is going, to which lanes, so I just go middle to see. So, uh, Kari actually wants to go middle lane, so I will go with Freya. And it actually was a good choice, but I think uh, Freya of my team was the best player of my entire team. So it's nice. So I don't know what this guy is saying. He's, I see saying the new hero get to a job, but I don't know what he's saying for the rest. So uh, I start the blue buff uh, because uh, you always have to start the jungle. Normally I buy the jungle item, but as a tank I never buy the jungle item because uh, it will take too much time to clear the jungle and it's just a waste of time. It should just help the team and the gank. So if Freya gets the blue buff, I use my heal because uh, I'm uh, low HP already. So my heal didn't do very much because I got hit by the jungle minion. But it's fine. Uh, so uh, we go to lane now. I'm really lagging. I don't know if you see it, but I'm, I'm lagging pretty hard. But it's uh, I still did fine. So I have my first ability. I didn't mean to use it there. But it was because of lag. Uh, you normally just want to use to poke the enemy down or uh, clear the minion wave. So uh, just clearing the minion wave, nothing doing special. Now the minion wave is clear, so I just want to check what they are doing. If they come to us, just want to check if they want to fight. Because uh, we are stronger. Also, Alucard is in the top lane now. And I <laughs> wanted to use abilities, but I'm lagging really hard here. So, as you can see, I use my ability, but also very, all very late. Because Alucard gets away very lucky. It's uh, actually 2 versus 3, but we are very strong in the early game. So, I'm just tanking here. So, uh, my Freya is safe and can heal. I used my heal to uh, protect my Freya. And I want to use my taunt here, but... Uh, uh, she still dies, Freya still died, because Junto was just a little bit out of the taunt range. That's unlucky. But I managed to get the double kill, so it's worth. It was 3 versus 2, and uh, 2 versus 3, and we uh, still got the double kill, and we lost one. So Saber is here also. I'm just clearing the wave. I know I can fight him, he has no chance. So I used my taunt yet, so uh, he fights me. I used my first ability, but he dashed away, and uh, because of lag, the ability got off too late. I noticed that uh, the mana usage is pretty, pretty high, of, uh, especially in the early game. So I, I bought two mana crystals to uh, get some more mana back. I know uh, I don't know what Saber was doing here. I just walk up to her, uh, taunt him, and uh, yeah, he dies. <laughs> Sorry guys, you know that I always say her to uh, Saber. It's it's a him. Sorry, it's a he. It's a guy. But uh, I'm still learning. I'm still learning. 
Like I've been doing this for months or all, all day. Also, uh, it just happens. I I, I say it to heroes a lot of times. Her or she, I don't know what it is. Anyway, I just want to go middle. Maybe we can kill the Karina. Just uh, just helping my team out so my team won't feed. So Karis actually fighting Karina and Karina is uh, going back because she was getting destroyed. So uh, I, I decided to go top lane to help Freya. But uh, it looks like she's already winning a fight, but Saber is here. And uh, I don't think he can also uh, fight Saber. So I help him, I use my ultimate just to uh, just to help him out. And uh, Freya uh, dies unfortunately, but uh, yeah, I'm just diving him and I get the kill on, uh, get the kill on Saber. So it's uh, two, versus, two, for, two for one, it's worth. I already have four kills now, which is pretty huge for the stage in the game as a tank. As a tank, you actually want to give the team the kills, but uh, in these situations, I was the only one who could have gotten the kills. Like Freya dies every time I want to uh, give the kills. So he actually dives the tower, take one tower shot, and he goes in again, which is a bad idea. And uh, yeah, he, he knows he can't fight me, and I'm just walking him. I'm not out attacking because when I don't out attack him, he can run away. And uh, <laughs> because of the lag, I died here. That's, uh, that's unfortunate, but it's still worth I would have died anyway because of Saber Ultimate. So, uh, yeah, let's wait for the timer. It's 14 seconds. When you're dead, you always always should watch the map. See what you, what, what happens on the map. See what you, what you can do. So, uh, I see the bottom lane. Uh, they get the tower, so bottom lane is nothing much to do. So, I decide, I don't know. We can You can do go top lane or mid lane. It doesn't really matter. I expect to happen a fight in the middle lane, but uh, yeah, Yenzhou is already coming to the middle lane. So I'm just uh, just walking mid, to just to see what what will happen, what I can do. So uh, Freya is there. I want to go to Freya because Freya knows what she is doing. But I uh, get an encounter with uh, Alucard here and Yenzhou. But I know I can actually fight them. But as you can see, the lag is real. I <laughs> somehow destroyed Yenzhou. I have no idea what happened. But uh, and also Alucard almost died. So you can see just with, with lag, you don't even need to do anything, they just kill themselves, just, just stand still. So your ping is too high, I get this message. But uh, I, I, my Wi-Fi is somehow, it doesn't really work. So I'm just uh, clearing the middle wave, getting some healing from my passive. I see Freya is doing the turtle, so I just uh, I just want to help uh, Freya, so the turtle de doesn't get stolen by someone. So like Stabar could come or Karina could come and steal it. So after the turtle, we uh, we want to kill Saber because Saber is pushing. So uh, I use prepare my ultimate to use. I use it on the Saber, but uh, she dashes away. Normally, you should actually wait until she uses uses her dash, and you can uh, ultimate after. That's it's a better thing to do, but uh, that was my mistake. So I'm uh, building the thermal item now to get some a lot of armor, and uh, yeah, it will be a very strong uh, item for me. So he dashes out of my. Uh, my second ability was just nice of him, because uh, he would have died. So at this moment I'm <laughs> changing from Wi-Fi to mobile internet, because it was lagging too much. I'm reconnecting. Yep, reconnecting. So I'm 6 kills, 1 death, 1 assist, it's pretty nice. We got the tower, waiting for my heal, and I, I still want to stick with the Freya, because we can. Uh, I think we can even 2 versus 5 if we play well. So he destroys the other card, he didn't even need help. So uh, we are pushing, but uh, we cannot dive. Uh, we cannot dive Tabor. It's too risky. And Karina goes in here. I don't know why. And uh, we couldn't. Uh, we can chase her. Chase her. So uh, the middle lane tower is still up. So uh, we actually need to kill the middle lane tower before we can do anything. Because when you kill the middle lane tower, it open opens up the match map so much more. When you get the middle lane tower, you can invade the enemy jungle much easier and escape. So it's important to get the middle lane tower. It's it's really strong. So in this situation, I think you already saw it. We dive and we got the tower. And uh, when I'm low HP, I use my ultimate so they can't kill me. And uh, I stun them and my team just helped me out really good. And that's why I survived. So it's a really good play to uh, save my ultimate for the last moment so I didn't die. So uh, I, want to, I want to kill this, uh, what is it, Hermit the Crab? Yeah. To get extra healing, but uh, Freya actually get it, and it's, it's not nice of her. And he says something, I don't know what it is. <laughs> leave down, leave a comment down in the description what he is saying, because uh, I don't understand uh, what it is. It's too good, Shania, uh, not something. Blah blah blah. So 
So uh, our carry is pushing the middle tower. I think we get it here. I have uh, seven kills already. One death. It's going uh, very good. The frist is high. I flex. So I think he, he just recognized me now. That's funny. So uh, I actually pressed the wrong button on my phone, <laughs> which closes the close tab. But uh, it's fine. I got it back. And I see the top lane is dying. I see. Uh, and a video posted by uh, Mobile Legends Bing Bing. Oh, I hate this. Uh, I hate this weird things. So I help here the Freya out, and when, uh, I get kill Yun Zhao. Actually, it's more a kind of a kill steal because Freya was full HP. But I saw too late that uh, she didn't need help. So Alucard is pushing. Gary is chasing. So uh, I might uh, get a kill on Alucard, but uh, he ran away. But uh, we can still try to get the tower. So Alucard goes in, which is actually really stupid, and uh, yeah, he dies because of that. That was a very easy dive. So uh, the, the tower is half HP. I uh, used my first ability to kill the cannon minion. I see Karina in the bottom lane and uh, I know Hayabusa can, can't actually fight Karina so I decide to go bottom lane. And Hayabusa <laughs> just realized he can't one versus one the Karina. And uh, that was a bit too late. It's really important to know your limits of, the, of your hero. But Hayabusa actually uh, survived and uh, yeah, I messed up my second ability. I should have used it earlier. But uh, yeah, Karina, you can just run away. So my team is fighting here. Saber uh, killed Gary, uh, but they killed each other. Lila also dies because she was uh, really weak at the moment. So you see Gary here, but you can just run away. That's too easy. I used my second ability here on the Gary, and the Gary is taking a lot of damage. But uh, it's very annoying. She can just run away easily, and I can't kill her. I can't do anything. And this Alicard is playing so aggressive, they think they can kill me, there's, there's no chance actually. And uh, yeah, Alicard dies for his greed. This moment, I'm just waiting to see what the enemy is doing, if they are going in into me, so I can kill them. So they want to defend the tower, but uh, it's fine, I don't want to I don't want to dive, so I just uh, want to take the blue buff. And uh, this is the moment they actually fight on us, so it was good to do blue buffs, so just to bait them. And... Uh, yeah, this uh, Freya dies, that's unfortunate, but we get the kill on the on the enemies. So it's double kills, it's worth. But uh, yeah, Freya shouldn't have died here, that was stupid. Just using my first ability again to clear the wave, as always. It's a pretty good wave clear, and with your uh, first item you can clear a lot, uh, a lot faster as well. Because everyone around you takes damage. So I see a lot of farm in the top lane. And uh, I see Yun Zhao low HP, but I, I, I didn't go for the farm because I saw my team was uh, was going to fight here. I uh, I prepared my ultimate so maybe I could dive, but uh, it was too risky since uh, Freya is not here. And uh, this Lila, look at what she's doing. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing. She's pretty useless. So uh, the only one who could help me was, uh, was scary, but it's not good enough. So I see Karina going in onto the Hayabusa. But uh, yeah, she can run away as always and uh, I cannot do anything. So here I see Alpha, I can use the ultimate on him, I decide to go in and that's uh, how we killed him, that's a pretty easy kill. So uh, we are just waiting to get the towers actually to kill them. But it's pretty hard to, uh, to dive them. But they're playing really just like the uh, Saber. He, he survived but it was really risky to go in like this, like they, they, he didn't do any damage anyway. I said he, oh my god I didn't say she. <laughs> it's going better, it's going better. One day I will learn. I slow down Alucard, uh, Freya used execute and he dies. So my team is dying here by the uh, by Yun Zhao and uh, Karina. So we get a double kill, uh, Freya gets a double kill. And uh, now they have two dead and one to end. But uh, we have no minions, we have to wait and that's really, really annoying. So I sell my uh, mana, mana regeneration gems so I can actually buy new items because my, my uh, list was full. So let's see, this is our first minion wave but uh, I actually want, I'm actually constantly looking if I can dive or not, but uh, it's too risky because they can just burst me down really fast with the tower, even as I'm tanking that. So uh, here I see the opportunity to go in, but Alpha died faster than I expected, so I wasted my ultimate. But Alucard again makes some mistakes and played really aggressive, so uh, I can get a free kill. I'm just waiting what to, what they do. We can take the tower here. Yun Zhao wants to go in. He actually goes in and he kills my Freya with, uh, with Karina. Well, this Freya played too aggressive and with my second ability and Lila, we burst down Yunzao really fast. 
so uh, Gary is doing some great damage here. And uh, we killed another one. So they have four dead at the moment, but uh, we have no minions again, so they actually respawn before we can take the base, which is very annoying. Just, just, uh, I think you guys always, always, always uh, be in this position as well. Just to end can be really annoying. So we killed Alucard really easy. I want to dive here, just to, uh, when, they have to go back because I go in there, so we can actually kill the base. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's the end. I just tanked the tower. It's, uh, there was no minions, I didn't see it. But uh, this actually baited the enemy to go into me. And uh, with my passive, I get a lot of extra armor. Uh, extra armor, because I'm low HP, the passive that's really strong, so uh, they can't kill me. And uh, yeah, here we can end the game. 10 kills, 1 death only, and 15 assists. This uh, I've never had a bad game with Katoka Chai. He's really, really strong at tanky. And even full, a full AP is really strong as well. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure uh, to drop a like on it. I hope you enjoyed the guide as well. I put a lot of effort in it every time and uh, want to make you the best uh, best uh, people or I mean the best players possible with the guides. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to drop a like and I'll see you next time.